how to use DuckDuckGo on your Mac. Actually, there are three ways of doing that. The first way is to simply go to DuckDuckGo.com or simply Duck.com. And then you can use this search box at the top to do some searches without being traced. So it's not only about third party companies gathering information about you and then show you like ads about that stuff. So if you search for more information about some car model, they will start advertising your cars and stuff like that. It's not only about this, but also nowadays the search engines try to uh, kind of make you more engaged. So if you search for some controversial topics, you may be able to find only information that align with your point of view. So you cannot kind of search for anything that you will disagree because they are afraid you will stop browsing. So you find articles that everything confirms what you think about this topic. And that's going to be really a dangerous stuff, especially if you try to do some serious research. All right. So to avoid tracking and being display some certain search results based on your history, you can use DuckDuckGo. They will try to mask your activities and give you the, like raw content, like the browser used to be in 90s. So you can do it right here. Or if you plan to use this feature often, you can set up uh, DuckDuckGo as your default search engine. So even use uh, other browsers, you can use this as the default search engine. Or you can move one step further and download the dedicated browser. So let's try to do that. Download the browser. All right, now it's already downloading. It starts automatically for me. All right, after that's done, we simply need to open this file and drag and drop tag that go into our application. Then it will appear in your apps. You can simply open it up and they want to ask you that. Do you want to open this? It's from Internet. Yes, we want to open this up. It's not from App Store. It's from Internet. And here it is. We got a browser with built in search engine that will kind of prevent uh, other third party from tracking your searches. So it's rather private. You can keep it as your secondary browser or you can use it as the main one. That's all up to you. You can import stuff like your passwords and your bookmarks or no. In my case, I will keep it as my secondary browser. I will still keep using my Google Chrome, unfortunately. But sometimes I need to search for stuff without Google knowing my search history. So I don't want them to show me some certain pages based on what I searched before. And that's how I'm going to use this browser DuckDuckGo. All right, so that's how you can do it on your Mac. It's really simple. I hope it will be useful for you. And I will see you in the next video.